Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play of Ultimate Adam. We just upgraded Alpha to 0 0.2, having a major milestone, and we're going to show off what changed here. Uh, we are not going to create a new character, we are taking one of our pre-generated ones. You know, there's Nefteria the Wizard, which you probably already played as, Dwarja the Fighter, and new joins uh, Alina the Archer. Alina is non-binary, they don't care at all what gender you identify them as, uh, they just care about shooting things with their longbow. Um, missile combat is completely new, um, it's, it's a major thing. So all you need to do is click on a monster that you want to shoot, and as long as you have a missile weapon equipped and enough ammunition, you will shoot at it. There are going to be keyboard shortcuts for this as well, they're not implemented yet. Um, if Alina has a problem, it's that they start with very, very poor equipment. The longbow is really good, but nothing else is. So let's uh, protect ourselves a little bit better by claiming um, using a spear is better than a poor dagger. Um, at least having something on the head will protect us from some traps, hopefully. So all you need to do is have a couple of arrows there and a missile weapon equipped that can use these, these arrows. Um, and then just, you know, roll with it. We also have, I uh, didn't show this last time, but we have different levels of information so that you can play uh, as detailed as you want. Me, I prefer to have all the information in place and not just hit points and starvation. Uh, you probably saw this just now. Corruption and starvation are going to be in the game again. It's not implemented yet. So this is something for um, upcoming alphas. So, equipped with a spear and some headgear, we are feeling much better. Of course, spear is not the best weapon to try to smash some obstacles, at least not if they're made from stone. There is no weapon degradation yet, thankfully, otherwise this would be a very, very pointless exercise. Um, especially if it turns out that this room doesn't even have a secret door or anything containing. But there is no weapon degradation yet, so we are making the best use of that. Monsters also use missile weapons now. There seems to be a teleportation trap somewhere on this dungeon, so let's see if we can find that. Monsters will also trigger traps, uh, just as poor sad heroes do. Well, at least there's a secret door with more obstacles. Great. Well, we're getting some free arrows here. Uh, if high elves tend to be very, very fragile. They don't regenerate hit points as fast as dwarves or even humans do, but uh, they come with additional abilities. Ah, there's a healing pool. Excellent. So that restores our health. Uh, healing pools recharge over time. Obstacles, by the way, now have uh, an actual purpose apart from being in the way. Uh, you, uh, in, in missile combat, and I'm going to show this later. And something that's also new is we have different kind of doors. You can look through these gates. Oh, pretty cool, huh? Normally doors are closed and you can't see what's behind them, but in this case, well, we've been here already, so it's not quite as exciting. Um, but, all right, let's see where it can go. This was an Auto Explore. Auto Explore now works much better. It will no longer land you in lava, or at least it shouldn't. You know, this is an alpha, bugs happen. Uh, so Auto Explore is much more sensible. It actually takes you to areas where you haven't been, you haven't been to before. And it tries to uh, find the best path and not run you in circles anymore. And again, stop you before you actually run into danger. Yeah. See that the... Um, the goblin is hiding behind some obstacles here, so it's making it very, very hard to hit. And as soon as my range is clear, I can shoot him much better. Oh, there's a gold piece. Excellent. Yeah, we pretend to be a dwarf. Um, ammunition that you shoot has a chance to uh, be recollected. So you can pick up arrows that you shot at enemies. And um, there are a couple of skills that increase the chance that you can reuse your ammunition. So there's an enemy over there, and let's show off sneaking. Um, as a high elf, Alina is able, well, an archer, spend some points in the stealth skill tree. Um, as long as you're stealthy, people 
monsters will not notice where you shoot them from. Um, they make perception checks, and if you're in range, the stealth pool you have will go down. As you can see right now, the stealth pool goes down. If it goes to, to zero, um, all monsters will discover you and obviously attack. Health pool, the stealth pool regenerates when you're not stealthing. So I'm going to do this right now um, to make the best of it. Here we see um, one of the first NPCs in the game. This is Jokar. Jokar is a chosen of Brennerbin. And if you're also neutrally aligned, um, the, he will have a quest for you. But we don't care for Brennerbin. We are following Nazera. Uh, we are... Oh, and there's... Well, there's one of the teleportation traps. Okay. Um, anyway, what was I saying? No, we, we're not going to help Brennerbin. You know, we, we're going to work for Nazera here. The Druid faction. We want to reclaim... Uh, the country for nature and destroy what evil and corruption has seeped from this dungeon. Vulnerable. Who needs magic if you have arrows? So you can shoot at enemies that are behind other enemies with a chance to actually hit them. You cannot naturally ch aim at uh, enemies that are in melee range because uh, you will use your melee attack. Again, there's a skill for that that you can uh, use to also being able to use um, melee actions. So sneaking around is uh, always good, especially if there's more than one monster and we're slightly low on health. Now we're also slightly low on stealth points. So let's um, give it some time to recharge. I'm still happy with my spear. Uh, there's a metal cap, that's better. I've been considering using a warhammer or a mace because I like how they look. But uh, a spear is fine. There you go again. So with friendly NPCs, you don't attack when you run into them. You bypass them. Of course, well, he's kind of friendly. Um, he's, after all, chosen of Brennerbin. And we are not working with Brennerbin. And there's another teleportation trap. Well, this is going to get annoying. So how to explore now stops when you encounter interesting features, when you spot monsters or anything. Uh, my health is a bit low, so I'm afraid of running into big monster hordes. Uh, let's be careful and stealth around until we meet, well, a health pool. No need for stealth. We're still regenerating a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, monsters do trigger traps. Um, if a trap is triggered, there is a chance that it doesn't do anything anymore. Uh, in this case, it, it wasn't. And well, there's, there's more traps. And I didn't even get the arrow from that. That's a shame. My stealth pool has recharged. That was, was the stealth is, is up again. So stealth has a um, limited amount. It ha has a cooldown. After you unstealth, it needs a couple of turns so you can stealth again. I wanted to check out the area there and it teleports me right into Monster Horde. Thankfully, we have our trusty spear because it works much better than the bow, apparently. And um, we don't have any mana, we haven't spent any mana, uh, so the blue pool doesn't do anything. Well, our spear isn't quite as good as shooting our bow, and the monsters right now have enough ammunition um, to make it worthwhile. I just realized that I gained a level, so let's spend some more points. We now have the ability to have classes gain specific points. In this case, uh, ranged weapons are a subsection of martial skills. Um, I have one martial skill point and one ranged weapon skill point that I can only spend in the ranged weapons categories. So, you know, there's a melee archery. Uh, we are going to upgrade bow damage with the point we have. Could have spent both points in there, but, you know, we are powerful enough. Uh, I'm slightly, still uh, slightly uh, damaged, so let's sneak down. And this turns out to be a good choice, because a buckbeer is a very, very dangerous enemy, unless you have a bow. It, well, it removed a lot of my um, of my stealth pool, though, when, when I shot at him. And he has a very, very nice weapon and some armor that I can't really use. So let's give the stealth pool some, some time to recharge. Uh, a bigger shield is good, um, but 
I have uh, I specialize on on uh, light weapon uh, on light armor, so the leather armor is actually going to give me more than the brigandine. Um, there seems to be slight bug with with heavy weapons here. Um, well, no, uh, that I can't equip them with a shield, but just clicking around a bit helps. So a really really huge club, and another teleportation trap. That seems to be my destiny here. So, Stealth Pool has recharged, which is good. I feel safer by being able to stealth. Even if I have a really powerful club. Um, as you can see, uh, clubs... Whoa! Okay, that was a trap door uh, with, with a lot of monsters hiding behind. Uh, let's have an epic shootout with them. No, just, just like a proper shooter. We ran this joke for April Fool's last year. Um, and to be honest, it kind of made sense for us, so who knows what's going to happen with the Ultimate Atom franchise uh, once we release Cavern of Chaos. Um, we're not going to be entirely opposed to a first-person shooter. Oh no, that's going to probably spawn rumors, so let's, let's not go there. Um, we killed a lot of archers, that's good. So arrows automatically stack. Now, if there's more items uh, down there, then you can pick from the uh, from from the quick menu, you can uh, it automatically opens the inventory and shows the ground. Oh, the inventory is much much smarter uh, and, and works much better now, so that you can also see immediately uh, what's on the ground and what's not. You can't push things downstairs yet. Well, it's going to see about that. Ah, you call yourself an archer. I'm an archer. with a club. So, any arrows left for me? There we go. Uh, I'm not the only one falling for the teleportation traps. Yeah, collected my one arrow back. So, let's go down. I'm reasonably healthy, I don't have to be stealthy. And we find ourselves in the Maze of Madness. Excellent. As you probably saw last week's ill-fated expedition to try to get one of the Minotaur's arms, we're going to take revenge now, because we have a bow and stealth. And a fated for teleportation traps, apparently. Well, that used up the stealth pool really fast. No help for you there. Oh, um, as you can see, auto exploration speeds things like the maze up really fast. Oh, what do we have there? Well, there's still some some textures missing. We have a male necromancer. Well, he's no. Oh, thankfully that was close. Uh, they can cast spells and uh, are rather difficult to deal with in melee combat. You know, like increase corruption, uh, force you to. I can, can stagger you, can do a lot of unpleasant things. And this chamber looks really good. Of course, we're no longer going to use our, um, we're no longer going to use our skill point for, that we put into light armor, but the protection is just too good for the fragile archer that we are. Outer solving maze is also fun. Hello. So let's see if we can take revenge for the poor dwarf last time. We're not going to be able to dig through walls with, with an elven archer, even if we have a really nice club. Nope, no one here. Let's see. Why did we stop here? I'm not quite sure. Maybe auto exploration saw something we didn't. That's fine. Ah, take that wall. I accidentally ran into that. 
Oh, well, okay, so now he doesn't see us, we can go into stealth mode. Um, Minotaurs, thankfully, have a very, very poor perception score, so uh, being stealthy is one of the ways of being able to kill them, because they have a lot of hit points and they deal a lot of damage. Um, he doesn't seem to notice me, maybe he doesn't even notice the damage. Monster AI is definitely something. Oh, there, he briefly saw me and then he ignored me again. I'm going to teach you to ignore me. Monster AI is something we're going to address in later patches as well. So, cheesing your way through the Minotaur encounter is not always going to be possible. But, you know, well, let's, let's finish him off with our Club of Might. Uh, run. Yes, you don't see me. Where am I? Um... Uh, well, there, there I was. <clears throat> and thankfully, it wasn't enough to kill me, but apparently he ran into me. It wasn't a good idea to just, you know, give him the chance to uh, run into a single direction where I'm standing. Um, anyway, the Minotaur is dead, long live the Minotaur, and uh, I can show some jewelry. That doesn't work yet, it doesn't do much things, um, but uh, jewelry now no longer has a size requirement and will automatically fit to the size of your character. All right, with the Minotaur being dead and us having successfully shown off stealth and missile combat, I'm going to conclude this here and hope you join me next week when I am going to play around with something that actually can see those traps and work with them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter if you want to take part of the alpha and see you next week.